Hi, thank you for tuning in to New Unicorn Network. In this video, we will be going over a popular topic, which is how to resell the NFTs you have collected from Unicorn Network on a marketplace platform such as OpenSea.io. We will assume you have already installed the wallet app MetaMask on your device. First step is to ensure the NFTs you have collected are valid. Go to your user profile page, switch to the NFTs tab, and make sure each NFT tile has an infinity sign on the top right, indicating it has been properly deployed on the Polygon blockchain. Click into the details page, you will see the contract and transaction hash data shown. Notice that the one tile on the top left does not have such infinity sign, which means that it has not yet been deployed on the blockchain. And this is because when you have just collected an NFT from the calendar view, it takes a few moments for the newly collected NFTs to be deployed. So you want to refresh the NFT tabs several times to confirm the status of your NFTs. Now the second step is to import your Unicorn Network wallet address onto MetaMask. Click the settings gear icon, select wallet, and you want to copy your wallet address and your private key data onto a notepad. For the purposes of this video, this data has already been copied to notes. So we navigate to notes and we would copy the private key, highlight it and copy. Now we would navigate to the MetaMask app. And from the left menu panel, we want to make sure that actually we want to make sure that the, the wallet has been connected to the Matic Polygon network as opposed to the Ethereum by default. So to connect to the Matic from the left menu tab, click settings, click on networks, we would go into Matic and here here we, we see the parameters that you would need to connect to the Matic network, such as the RPC URL and chain ID. So what you want to do is to, if you haven't already connected to the Matic network, you want to copy down these parameters and do an add network with these parameter informations and um, add the network, the Matic network. So assuming that you have done so, we will click on the next next step is to click on the arrow the down arrow and select import an account here you want to paste the private key that you have you have copied over from notes and click import and now you have successfully imported your ufa wallet address notice that the account name is defaulted to something like account with an index number so you want to hide long click and highlight the account area and change it to something more reasonable such as my ufa wallet okay so now we are ready to connect this wallet address to OpenSea. so let's go to a browser and open up OpenSea.io. Click on the menu icon on the top right and select connect wallet. Here you want to select the wallet connect option. Please note that the MetaMask option is for the desktop version, the desktop browser version with the plugin. So you do not want to choose this option if you're on a mobile device like we are now. So select the wallet connect option and click on the MetaMask icon on the top right. And here you'll be brought back to the MetaMask app and you'll be prompted to connect to the site, which is OpenSea.io. And here you want to confirm the wallet address is indeed the one you want to connect to OpenSea.io. And it is, so we will click connect. And you have been connected to OpenSea. So now let's go back to the browser. Here you want to refresh the the browser 
and we'll click on the menu. Sometimes it takes a moment for the connection to be shown. And we might have to click connect again, so we will do that. Okay, so it's actually already been connected as shown here by this My Wallet uh, drop down here. So we will click into the account um, menu and click profile. And there you go. You have now created an OpenSea account with the wallet address with your UFA account, uh, UFA wallet address. So we will scroll over to the hidden tab and notice that your, your NFTs that you have collected on your UFA app are now shown here in the hidden tab. By default, yeah, these NFTs will be set as hidden and you can click on the dot 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 menu icon to, to unhide it. Once you select unhide, unhide is a chain operation so you'll be brought back to the wallet app to confirm such option. And you'll be able to unhide this uh, on Haida's uh, NFT on uh, OpenSea. We want to refresh the page. Again, most of these uh, chain options may take a while to be refreshed on the page, so be patient, bear with it. Um, on any of these NFT, you can click into the details page and you will have the option to sell. Click on the sell button and specify the, the amount in ETH that you want to sell it for. And you select the complete listing option and here you will be required to submit a transaction with your wallet to unlock selling functionality for this collection for this nft and this is a one-time action that requires some some amount of matic on your wallet so ensure be sure that you have some matic as gas fees for this operation click unlock again this is a blockchain blockchain action so you'll be brought back to my mass app and it takes a while for the confirmation to go through and once you have unlocked completed the unlock operation you will proceed to the next page or the next step just to unlock currency and lastly sign message which is the last confirmation step and that's how you will complete your listing of your emit nfts and and then you'll be ready to sell your NFT. I hope that that gives a uh, sufficient overview of how we would port it, the NFTs from UFA to uh, OpenSea and to be able to sell, resell it. And thank you for your time and we will see you in the next video.